National Goalball Championships here in Perth for the Youth Division. On my left, I have the New South Wales Youth. <laughs> I am number two, Cooper Campbell. Yes. They all know who we are. <laughs> yeah. Just wondering whether he's a lay or a lay. Then <laughs> they're going to go to second. Interesting that they had that play. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this gold medal match where I have New South Wales youth on my left.
South Wales, Sydney, 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 Sydney,
second half where I have WA youth on my left, youth on my right. Half time score, Western Australia two, New South Wales seven. New South Wales will start with the ball. Five, please. Centre.
official timeout noise. We'll just wait for this to be dealt with.
Fresh arm. Looks like fresh blood. That, that works, yeah. As Andrew says, it's only done for once we don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Australia, 7-12.
Guys, the pool team. All over.
on that noise, no throws. Ah, ah. Fifteen seconds. Thank you. 
New South Wales going up 3-1 in this gold medal match between them and the pool team featuring South Australian, Queensland and Victorian players. Eight minutes and 51, 31 seconds remaining. Lots of gold will apply. What can the teams do about it? This ball in the hands of the centre for New South Wales. Benson, she moves across to the right side, crossbar. Fast flat ball, bit of skip into the centre. Risa Martin for the pool team. Flicks across to the left wing with Millie. Hearts, hearts from the post. Line ball, angles in a bit and winds up hitting the arms of Benson who dives to her hands first to her right. Ball in the hands with Clark, Jess Clark from the right wing. Tries to go up the line but slices it out slightly. Ball being dropped into Hearts on the left. But Gross has come over. Gross takes the ball all the way back to her post on the right wing. Goes for a discus, it's a bouncer. It bounces once, twice, hits the top hype. And nearly over the top of Molly Smith on the left wing, but a scramble from New South Wales gets it under control. Benson with the reply throw from the middle, straight into Martin, who fractures it wide and out. Grosser there with a diving scramble to make sure it doesn't roll backwards. Seven minutes, 43 on the clock. With Grosser, bouncing ball. It's up the line again, it's Smith fractured, but stays in front of Smith on that left wing. A lot of pressure being applied there by the pool team to New South Wales. Smith. Reply cross court. It passes Rice Martin, but it does not pass Millie Hart, who dives right hands to her right and blocks the ball. Going for a line ball herself. Hart up the left line, gets it wide of Clark's post on the right for New South Wales. Seven thirty-one left on the clock. Clark from the post on the right side. Again, line ball, but straight out. New South Wales still leading, 3-1. Ball's taken back by Grosser, snuck back across to her wing on the right-hand side. Turns and spins, it's a bouncing ball down the line. Late diving leg from Smith, just flicks it out around the post. Smith dives feet to the sideline on that left wing. Molly Smith with the ball moves into that left crossbar. Narrow angle across the centre, it's fractured up over and in. It's wide of Martin and it hits the top hip of Hearts and it goes in and New South Wales go up 4-1. We have a substitution for that Paul team. We're seeing number five Millie Hearts coming out. Millie Hearts from hailing from South Australia and in her place is Claire Whelan from Victoria. Lots to play for. This is the gold medal. This is the last chance these two teams have to compete against one another. With seven minutes and one second left on the clock, lots of goal ball to play. It's a straight switch. Number five for number four. Claire will be taking up the left wing. Balls with Grosser on the right. Grosser comes into the crossbar about three metres in from her right post. She's going to discus. It's a bouncer. Bounce, bounce. Fracture up over. And it's a scramble across the goal line. All three New South Wales players converge and get that ball under control. Reply from Benson hits the high ball line tape on the way through, possibly the front of the court tape. And Claire Whelan, welcome to the game. First ball from that pressure, blocks it out. Whelan from her post on the left wing. First throw up the line to Clark. Hits Clark's midriff. Clark lines up with her post on the right wing for New South Wales. 
comes down, angled in, tries to go for the gap between Martin and Whelan. Whelan the sub. Martin fractures it forward, collects it, and hand passes to Whelan. Whelan off one step, trying to avoid the 10 second shot clock penalty. Winds up throwing that ball out around about the long ball line. Ball's back in the hands of New South Wales, and it's Benson who's come and taken it. And she's moved all the way across to about the middle of the court. Flat ball in the gap. It's wide of Martin, but Whelan's there. Fractured between the two of them, and Whelan ends up with control of the ball. Whelan from a post. Line ball up the line. Again, slicing it in, though, into Clark's midriff. Clarky from a post. Up the line. Angles in. Oh, it's just on the feet of Whelan. Late trap. Good clamp down, and South Australia, Victoria, Queensland, pool team call a timeout. And with five minutes and 55 seconds to go, New South Wales are in the box seat three goals ahead, 4-1. But I dare say this timeout called by Coach Craig Muller of South Australia will be to reset the team, refocus them, and see how they can get that ball past the sky blue wall that awaits them at the opposite end of the goals. We've had the, the 15 second hooter sound, so coaches scramble to get off court as the action will get underway. Grosser with the ball from the back tee. Runs up and sends it angling towards the left wing where Smith's feet just trap it out of play. Smith from that left wing. Angles it in. It's fractured off Martin, but she keeps it forward. Martin passes back to Grosser. Grosser from her post on the right wing. Spins and throws. Right-handed disc is again into Smith. Again fractured forward. And again off the side of the court. As we put, placed back onto the court with Smith. Smith from her post. Turns and spins. Bouncing ball. It's a bounce off between Grosser and Smith. Smith this time sends it wide of Martin going on the long angle into Whelan. Whelan is there. She goes up the line into the gap between Clark and Benson and gets it in. It scores. It splits the pair. It fractures off them. And the pool team get their second goal. 2-4. This game is not over yet. Clark up the line, wanting vengeance. Sends the ball into Whelan. It fractures forward. Martin does the chasing. Hand pass back to Clark. Or back to Whelan, sorry. Whelan, line ball slicing out. Five minutes and five seconds to go in this second half. This gold medal game between New South Wales and the pool team. Back tee from Benson. It goes towards that right post of Grosser, who gets her hands to it and blocks it out calmly. No problems there for Grosser. From her right post, she comes in three metres. Turns and spins. Bouncer. Down the line and out about the long ball line. Well, maybe probably closer to the front of the court. Left wing, Smith. From her post. She again. Bounce balls into Martin in the body, over the tee. That centre T, no problems for Martin. Hand passes across to Grosser, who goes to a right post. Line ball, flat line ball. Feet from Smith are there. Again, Smith dives feet to her left, to that sideline. Molly Smith with the ball, comes into the crossbar from the left wing, three metres in. Bouncing ball, hits Grosser right on the end of the one and a half wing line. Grosser, no problem. Her turn. Bouncing discus herself. Goes the other side of Benson. And it's blocked out. What a fracture. Benson's face down on the ground. She's not happy with her defence. A New South Wales call a timeout. Coach Simon Smith, what words is he going to have for his team? They're still on the box seat. They're two goals up. Four goals to two. And it's with four minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock. You'd think... New South Wales have this. It's their game to lose now. How hungry is the pool team? How much do they want this gold medal? Uh, uh. 
coaches scramble to get off court. As the 15 second hooter sounds, it's coming to the end of the timeout. Action is going to be underway very soon. Ball is dropped in with Clark on the right wing. For New South Wales. Line ball. Slices in a little bit, hits the body of Whelan. No problem for her. Whelan from the left post. Angling ball in. It's a great ball, splitting the gap between Benson and Clark, but Benson gathers it. Right wing, three metres in. Benson thunders a bounce ball, popping up into Martin, who does a quick reply straight over Benson's tee. No problem for Brody Benson. Passes across to her left. Molly Smith, three metres in from that crossbar. Turns and spins and fires into the body of Grosser. Again, sitting on the end of that wing line, 1.5 metres in from the sideline. Grosser coming in to the back tee, thunders it straight, splits the gap between Benson and Clark again, but somehow they keep it under control. Clark with the ball, three metres in from the right sideline. Straight into Martin. Martin, quick reply, back into that same spot, through the hands of Benson, but Clark is there. Clark moving across to a right post. Thunders the ball down to that gap between Martin and Whelan, but there's no gap there. Martin's all over it. She brings the ball back to her back tee. No, sorry, she passes to Whelan, who throws a high ball. Whelan taking that last one from her left post and just forgetting to get it to hit the ground in time. This is not what the pool team need. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. New South Wales have a chance to extend their goal lead. Benson down the line, and it's out! It's out! Could that be costly for New South Wales' campaign? They're still in the box seat, four goals to two. Still three minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. That's a lot of time and goal ball. That's a lot of throws. What can the pool team, made up of the players from South Australia, Victoria and Queensland, do? We're just having a bit of a lull in play as the wonderful goal judges and officials give the court a quick mop down. For those of you who have not played goal ball before, it might look easy, but it's a full body workout. Ball dropped back in. It's with Grosser. She moves across all the way to Whelan's side of the court from the left wing. Discus. Bounce it down the line into Clark. Clark gets her body onto it. Fractured forward though into Benson. Benson takes us from the right crossbar. Angling into Martin. Martin, easy trap there. She's going to take her own throw. She's going to take it about three metres in from the left side. Goes across again to Clark. The pool team are really looking like they're going after Clark. Clark from the post. Cross court, late trap hands from Martin. Hands go to a right. It's in the gap between Martin and Grosser. Grosser with the ball three metres in from the right sideline. Discus bounce towards Smith. Fractured off the feet and out. It's wide of the post. Two minutes, 23. Time is running out for this pool team. Bouncer from Smith, it's a great bouncer. Pops up into the arms of Martin. That looked awkward to trap, but she makes it look so easy. Grosser from the right line. Bounces, it's in the gap on the other side. Up over and in! It's in! It's in! Three goals to the pool team. Four goals to New South Wales. Two minutes and seven seconds remaining. Benson fires one into her Grosser's knees. Knees going into the middle of the court, but she gets there in time, blocks it off the sideline, it's dropped back in. Grosser from her right post. Turns and spins. Bouncing ball down the line to Smith, fractured out. Smith's feet getting in the way of it and knocking it off the sideline. Ball dropped back into Smith. She moves into the crossbar on her side, three metres in. Goes for the cross court, collected by Whelan. Whelan takes it back to a post on left wing. Cross court back from Whelan, into the gap between Benson and Smith. Benson gets it on her toes, fractures it forward, does the chasing and passes it back to Smith. Smith, cross court back towards Whelan, into Whelan's body, fractured forward, 
but collected by Sweelan. Or even officials time out as uh, referee Andrew Perry wants to collect something off the ground of the court. Bit of debris from somewhere. Ball back underway. Up the line into Clark's body. So the pool team appear to be playing a bit of a tactic where they'll target Clark for a few throws and target Smith for a few throws, really trying to start Benson. Re line ball reply from Clark up into Whelan and the pool team call another timeout. Just over a minute to play in this second half. One minute and nine seconds. The pool team need just one more goal. It's three goals to pool team, four goals. to the team of New South Wales. This final minute of play could wind up stretching on for quite some time as the coaches use all their timeouts and all their substitutions to line up the best throws possible to win the match. Grosser from the right wing, gets us back underway, fires it into Smith, who gets a body big on top of it, knocks it down and blocks it out. Five, Five. Minute three to go, the clock continues to kick a tick down. Smith from the left, bouncing ball into that gap between Grosser and Martin, but Martin collects it, passes to Grosser from the post. Bouncing ball back at Smith. They're really going after Smith in this final 60 seconds of play. Benson collects the fracture and takes it back to her back line. Bouncing ball into Whelan. She's all over it. And SA call another timeout as I predicted that would happen. They're going to set up the shot with 36 seconds, 36.17 seconds remaining in this half. There are three throws left in this game. Two of them belong to the pool team. One of them belongs to New South Wales. There might be a fourth throw in there, but if I was the pool team, I'd be making sure there is three and only three. Score once again, three goals to pool team, four goals to New South Wales. The pool team need to score to send this into overtime. Grosser walking around on that back line like a lion's dog in their prey. So it's, she spins and throws bouncing ball up into Clark. Clean body. Clarkie collects her own fracture forward, takes it back to the crossbar, three metres in off the right side, and she goes to go across Martin. But she winds up hitting Martin. Martin, quick reply. Back into Clark. Passes across to Smith. 12 seconds to go. 12 seconds to go in this final half. There is one throw left from the pool team. Grosser runs all the way back to her post on the right side. She turns and spins. It's a bouncer. It's fractured. It's wide. It's wide. 4.2 seconds left on the clock. Surely New South Wales just hold the ball. Three, two, one. New South Wales have won the gold medal. Four goals to New South Wales, three goals to the pool team. Congratulations to the team of New South Wales. And commiserations to the members of the pool team from Queensland, Victoria and South Australia. That's all for the women's final, but we have the men's final coming up at 10.30 in 15 minutes time.
Gold medal match at the Australian National Goalball Championship 2023 here in beautiful Perth with the beautiful Indian Ocean. This is the men's final. On my left, I have the Queensland men win. Number two, John Kendrick. Number three, Mikhail Hoffman.
Plan number one, Stephen Nero. Plan number three, Matthew Barry. Plan number four, Robbie Dunia. Plan number six, Roy King. Representing the coaching staff of New South Wales, Andrew Ridley. Andrew Perry. Six minutes before the next game. Good luck to both teams. Back seven and a half, but anyway. He said he wanted five. Thank you, Madam Scorer. Andrew, I'll give you six and a half, actually. So I don't complain again. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm hydrated. You need to hydrate. So each morning you get up and you just plait your hair? Or you just go to bed and leave it plaited? You do your brush it a thousand times? And no. Just, you know? <laughs> just so talk, talk to your grandmother, the old days when you used to have to oh. brush your hair and do this. Was it a hundred times or a thousand times? I've never had long hair, I'm afraid. Oh. Or it's like home. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never had a wild youth. <laughs> and you did? My beard used to be down about there. And I've still got it. It's still cut off, but it's uh, flattered and about that long. And when I had it cut off, it was like really weird when you moved your head because you got the breeze go past and there wasn't the weight. So, my early 20 wild days. Which is even more amusing considering I'm a non conformist in a conformist organisation. So, you're a conformist for it. You like to play with their minds. Sorry? No, Queensland start with it, I believe. Table ready? Yeah, I've already said it. Oh, it's just weird. Have I read it? Yeah, I didn't. Just...
What do you want? Yeah. You can't get it. Yeah. I haven't said play yet. Ninety seconds to go till the final match of the Australian Goalball Championships gets underway. This is the men's gold medal match, medal match between the states of Queensland and New South Wales. Both sides have performed strong throughout the competition and well and truly deserve to be here in this final. New South had a, a mercy victory over Western Australia yesterday in the one versus four semi-final, beating the host state 12-2, while Queensland had a nail-biting finish against the Victorian team only managing to beat them by one in the dying minute of the game. Both sides only have four players for Queensland. Their four consist of Sydney Quip, Sean Kendrick, Isaiah Muller and Mikhail Offman. Over in the New South Wales team, their four players are Robbie Dunya, Matthew Bowery, Stefan Nero and Troy King. The starting lineup for both sides as we get underway. It looks like New South Wales will start up with their regular lineup. Number one, Stefan Nero. Number three, Matthew Bowery. And number four, Robbie Dunya. Now, normally when they line up on court, they have Dunya playing on right wing, Nero in the middle, and Bowery on the left wing. Over on the Queensland team, they will be starting with players number five, number six, and number two. So from left to right, or top left corner of screen as you watch it, over YouTube, it is Isaiah Muller in the top left, Sydney Quip in the middle, and Sean Kendrick uh, on the right wing, bottom left hand corner of screen. It's the starting lineup we expect to see from both of these sides, but what is the result we will get? Table side referee David Tiller just starting off with proceedings. And on the far side of the court, refereeing from the opposite side is. Warwick Jakes, both very well experienced IPSA level international referees. Balls being dropped in to the New South Wales team to start this game off and Dunya will take the first throw from his post on the right. Dunya, number four for New South Wales. It's a brand new rock as well, that's solid as a rock as it thunders into Whip, whip passing to Muller with the trademark discus into Nero. Fractured forward by Nero, passes back to Bowery. Bowery, from just off his left post, goes for the gap between Whip and Kendrick. Whip chases or kicks it forwards and then kicks it actually over the halfway line. Ball goes back across the court to New South Wales, being dropped on the left. Bowery with the ball, passes to Dunya. Dunya comes into the crossbar, three metres off the right sideline, goes for a, a straight ball into the gap between Whip and Muller, but there is no gap. Whip taking the ball, three metres off the crossbar on the left side. Discus, bounce it, it loops into Nero. Nero diving hands first, full stretch to his right to trap that down. Into Dunya, the ball is now. Sideline, up the line, fractured up, down. And a scramble keeps it alive, well controlled by Muller, who has the ball on left wing, turns and spins. It's a low discus, again, really stretching Stefan on his hands, hands diving to his right. Ball with Dunya. Dunya, flat ball. Quick reply from Muller, up the line. It's a bit of a bouncer, it has a bit of skip. Fractured forward by Dunya. It's blocked off the sideline, blocked fairway forward. Dunya, off no steps, angles it into the gap between Whip and Muller. Gets it on Whip's hands. Whip ferries the ball across to Kendrick. Kendrick scoops it a little bit, needs to keep that ball low on the ground. He threw that from about two metres off his right post into Dunya. Bowery comes round the opposite side. And it's through Kendrick's feet and in the goals. <laughs> Bowery taking the ball off Dunya, running it back to his left side of the court, throwing from the crossbar and firing it straight from gap to gap, just between the feet of Kendrick. 10 minutes, 22 to go. Ball with Muller on the left side for Queensland. Through Stefan, and it's in the back of the net! It's in! Queensland equalise! 10-17 left on the clock. Score is 1-1.
First blood drawn from both teams. Bowery tries to do something about it. Hits Sean up over the hip. Fractured, but Waller's there behind. Great dive from Waller right behind Kendrick on that right wing. Waller takes it back to his side of the court. Into the gap. Testing Stefan on his hands. Stefan Nero with the ball. Discus from him. Straight into the tee. Straight into the middle. The very tall middle of Sydney Whip. Whip from the, his back of the line. He comes, spins, loops into the feet of Dunya. Collects cleanly on that right wing. Bowery's there to help, but Dunya doesn't need any help. He thunders this one up the line and wide. Maybe he did need a bit of help. Nine minutes, 39 to go in this first half. Ball with Muller. Muller's doing a lot of the throwing and he throws this one out. It's the second half to go as I, Muller. Make sure there's someone in the tank for that. Ball is being ferried around to Barry. He's going to go for the gap shot again, where he got his first goal. This time, the feet of Kendrick get there and block it forward. Whip sends it to Muller. Muller, front on throw into the gap between Nero's feet and Bowery's feet. Nero does the chasing pass back to Barry on the left. Barry up the line, just into the chest of Kendrick. Kendrick was resting on his elbow though, so it was nearly a goal. Kendrick bouncing cross, full extension of Nero's hands. Blocked wide of Dunya's post on that right side. Ball dropped back in with Dunya. Dunya up the line, fractured off Muller. It lands in the middle of the court, it rolls dangerously towards the goal line, but a great second dive from Muller keeps it in play. Muller from his post, angles it in to the middle of the court where Nero fractures it forward, passes it back to Bowery. Bowery from his post on the left. Angles it in. Whip's feet are there. Yes. Solid block out by Whip. Eight minutes, ten seconds to go. Ball with Kendrick on the right post for Queensland. Kendrick, flat ball, hooks it across into the body of Dunya. Dunya moves into the crossbar. Thunders it back out towards the post and it's a late block out by Muller. Muller on that left wing, 8 minutes 26 to go. Score is still 1-1, one, one, one goal apiece. Muller from the left wing. Sorry, whip from the centre of the court. Whip into the team. Blocked straight into Nero's body, who fractures it forward. Nero is doing a lot of chasing it so far. Nero passes the ball back to Bowery afterwards. Blocked down. Bowery. Fractured up, over, and in. Over Kendrick's hip, top arm not there, and it's in the back of the net, and New South Wales double their score. Two goals to New South Wales, one goal to Queensland. Eight minutes, 11 seconds left on the clock. Muller from the left side, another bouncing ball. This one's through the gap between Nero and Dunya, and somehow the three of them keep it out of the back of the net. Dunya with the reply, bouncer into Moore's body in that gap between him and Whip, but Muller was all over it. Muller on the left. Again, goes to that same spot, he finds Stefan's hands. Stefan angrily grabs that ball and he's taken it. He's thundering it into Kendrick, blocks it round his post on the right side. There's definitely an intensity shift here. Seven minutes, 43 to go. New South Wales still in the lead, 2-1. On the right post with Kendrick. Disc gets bouncer, it dribbles in the end though. Hitting Dunia on the right post, cross court ball. Junior. Narrow angle, but from his post into the gap between Whip and Muller. Muller on the left. Muller with the ball on the left wing. Turns and spins. Bouncing ball back into the body of Nero. Nero shifts over a long way before the ball is even thrown. Ball still with Nero. He does a discus back towards Kendrick on the right post, but it's wide of his post. Seven minutes, 16 remaining in this first half. Whip from the back into Nero again. Fractured forward off the hands. Does the chasing. Passes back to Dunya on the right side. Round about three metre crossbar. Three metres in on the right side. Up the line into the gap between Whip and Muller. Whip gathers it and will take the throw. Whip from the back tee. Low bouncer. It's off the feet of Nero on that left side towards Bowery. But he gathers it cleanly. Pass it to Bowery on the left wing. Bowery into the body of Kendrick and it's over the hip and out. Six minutes and 45 remaining in this first half. 
Kendrick with the ball from his right post. Kendrick hooks it across, Nero frags it off the hand, yeah. and it's in! Yeah. Nero pops it up over Junior and scores the, le the, scores the level. Two goals apiece. Six minutes and 39 seconds remaining in this first half. Score is 2-2. Great goal from Kendrick through hands of Quip. Nero and over. What's the reply from Junior going to do? It's just going to hit the body of Quip, who fractures it forward and passes it back to Muller. Muller on the left, front on throw. Plenty of bounce again into the hands of Nero. Nero with the ball though, he's not going to be happy, he thunders it down, into Kendrick, off the post, off the post, but it's blocked out. 6 minutes 13, 2 goals apiece, you would think this is the last 30 seconds of the game, not the first half. Kendrick again, going across, misses Nero's hands, but into the body of Dunya. Dunya thunders the ball into the feet of Whip. Feet go to his right and fractures it past Kendrick and off the sideline. Perfect parallel fracture to the goals. Ball's been taken by Whip back to the back tee. And he goes to the post of Barry, but it's wide. Barry on that left side for New South Wales. Barry from his crossbar, three metres in. Straight into the body of Kendrick. Gets him in about, oh, just at the very end of that one and a half wingers mark. Blocked out, Muller's there to pick it up. Five minutes, 43 to go. Bouncing ball from Muller into the gap, again into the hands of Nero. Queensland really testing those hands out. Dunya thunders the ball into the body of Muller. Fractured forward, Whip does the chasing, it's blocked out. Whip collects, passes back to Muller, we're back underway. No, Whip takes the throw. Bouncing ball across into the body of Bowery, who gets plenty of chest in it, keeping it down. Probably would have gone wide if he left it alone. Bowery fractures into Kendrick, again off the post, again off the woodwork. It's not in, it's still alive. And Muller there with a second effort comes diving in behind and turfs it out the side to avoid the 10 second penalty. Scores are still tied at 2 2. 5 13 left on the clock. Bowery from his place. He's going to do that same ball. And it's the same result. Off Kendrick's body, off the top even, fractured out. Five minutes and four seconds to go. Muller from the right side between Kendrick and Whip fires it into Nero. Nero has this ball and he's going to go after Kendrick again. But it's wide. Kendrick was there. Kendrick is good enough for it. Four minutes and 54 seconds to go. Score is still 2-2. We have not had a single timeout in this half yet. Whip, whip into Nero's hands. Late hands, he gets there somehow. It's now with Dunya on that right wing. Dunya going after Kendrick. Fractured up and over at the top. It's over the top. And it's a timeout for Queensland. The first timeout of this game. Four minutes and 41 seconds to go in this first half. Score is tied at 2-2 in this do or die match. One team will take a plane ride home with a gold medal and one team will take a plane ride home with a silver. Coaching staff are just having some halfway point chats with their team. New South Wales has a full bench of coaches, a bit of a rotating bench of coaches consisting of Andrew Ridley, Andrew Perry, and uh, Troy King, although a player performs one heck of a coaching role and mentoring role for the young ones. Over the New South Wales bench, Risa Martins coaching this team after just coming off her game in the pool. Muller bouncing ball wide. Four minutes, 38 seconds. Scores are still tied at 2 2. Dunya from the crossbar, fires across to Kendrick, off the hip, it rolls towards the post, but Muller's hands are there! Muller's hand again coming over from behind and knocking it wide. Ball back underway, 4 minutes 30 seconds, Kendrick with the ball, bounces, goes across Nero. It's with Nero, Nero's going to have a go at Kendrick and he throws it wide, just in front of that wing line. Kendrick covering his post well. He's also had a bit of luck on his side, but he's doing well. 
ball with whip on the back tee. Spins the throws. It's going to be wide long ball line. Going after Bowery's post, but just too much angle. It takes it off the court. Bowery goes for the gap between Kendrick and Whip, but Whip gets his feet in the way and boots it over the sideline. Bounce back in. Muller takes it over to his left side from his post. Flat ball, straight in the body of Nero, who gets up, takes it back to his tee calmly, casually, and spins and turns, and there's nothing casual about this throw that comes back at Kendrick, off the feet and out again. Kendrick dives with his feet towards the middle, hands towards the sideline to serve the ball to come off his feet and then round his body over the sideline. There's a lot of luck, but luck's on his side. We'll take it. Dunya, bouncing ball. Guess where it's going? Kendrick up and over. Another ball fractured wide on those goals. Three minutes, 37 to go. Scores are still tied at 2-2. This is only the first half. Whip from the back tee. Thunders it, finds the gap between Nero and Dunya. It's fractured forward by Dunya. Nero does the chasing. Back to Dunya. Dunya up the line and a wide. Three minutes, 23 to go. Ball dropped in with Muller. Muller has the ball. Turns and spins. It's a bouncing ball. And it's nearly through the gap. Fractured forward again in that spot between Nero's hands and Junior's feet. Nero does the chase and passes back to Junior from that right wing crossbar. Junior bounces it straight into the guts of Whip. He blocks it up, strong and solid. He moves across. Discus throw into the feet of Nero. Small fracture forward. Rolls it back to Bowery. Bowery from the left. A meter in. Through the feet of Whip it into the feet of Kendrick and Muller was there. There was no chance that ball was going through. Kendrick, bouncing ball, discus bouncer, but it dies a little bit in the end. Bit too steep on that first one. Collected by Nero in the middle. Nero replies into the feet and again blocked out. Two minutes, 36 to go. Score still tied at 2-2. Ball drop back on Kendrick's side, but Muller takes it back to his and goes long cross into the chest of Bowery. From left winger to left winger. Diagonal shot. Bowery with the ball from his left post. And he's going to fire it back into Kendrick's feet, but he has it calm, clean and trapped, and Muller was backing up behind. Kendrick takes his throw, though. Goes for the line. Hits the chest of Bowery. Bowery resting on his elbow, but he has his chest in the way. Ball passed across to Junior, throwing for the back tee. Dunya on the narrow angle, again into the feet of Kendrick, again Muller comes across and again it's safe. Whip with the ball after the fracture forward into the hands of Nero slash feet of Dunya in that gap there. Dunya fires the ball back into Whip but he gets it, he's calm, he's cool, he's collected and he passes to Muller, Muller, front on throw, bounces it, dies into Nero of the centre tee. Into Nero, passes it to the left winger of Barry as New South Wales coach Andrew Ridley calls a timeout. And there's little, over, little under two minutes to play in this first half. One minute 42 to go. The scores are still tied at 2-2. Two, two. Now in the sport of goalball, each team is only given a maximum of four in-game timeouts but you have to use one of them in the first half. Queensland have already used one of their four timeouts. New South Wales have now used one of their four timeouts. If you do not use one in the first half, you lose it. I suspect coach Andrew Ridley was using this timeout just to make sure he gave his players 45 second rest up as we go into the last 102 seconds of this first half. Score still started, 2-2. Bouncing balls get us underway. Booted out of the way by the legs of Whip. In that gap between Whip and Kendrick, there wasn't overlap on that occasion. That ball nearly scored, but a ball over is better than a goal. Nero from Bowery's post. Thunders into Kendrick and he's all over it. He gets his chest to the ball and he now applies with a bit of a skippy bounce. Straight to Nero, who fractures forward on his feet side. Feet going towards the left. Barry now with the ball on the left. From about one and a half in, fires in that same gap, fractured up and forward, and then that top spin takes it back into Kendrick. Kendrick from this post, 
bounce it down the line. It stays in play. Great line ball, but quick reply from Bowie again to the gap. This one's fractured up over. It's rolling towards the post, but it goes wide of the post. One minute and one second to go. 61 seconds left in this first half. It's still tied at 2 2. Flat ball from Moore, cross court all the way into Bowery. Ball in the hands of Hero. He goes after Kendrick once more, but it's wide of Kendrick's post. There must be a slope or something on this court because every ball from New South seems to wind up down in the bottom left hand corner of screen. Whip with the ball. Thunders it into Nero's body. Centre to centre. Easy block for Nero who rolls it across to Bowery. Bowery coming in behind Nero. Then comes back to the left side. Thunders for Kendrick. Fractured up over and in! <laughs> Off the hip of Kendrick. Hits the crossbar and goes under. With 34.5 seconds to go in this first half, New South Wales get the edge 3 2. What can Queensland do to reply? They reply straight away! It's straight back in the back of the net! 3 3. That ball being fired from Moore from his post on the left into the gap between Nero and Dunia. Bowery now with the reply back into Kendrick. Fractured forward, but he collects it. Muller again with running around, doing the second efforts, the active defense. Kendrick goes towards Stefan Hands. Quick reply from Stefan, back in the gap. Booted forward by Kendrick over the top of Whip. Those feet of Kendrick, solid and strong. Whip with the ball. Thunders the ball back into Nero's hands. He fractures it forward and it's blocked out and wide on the right hand side. In fact, it wasn't just his hands that helped block the ball, it was his whole face. Nero needing his eye shades put back on. And it looks like there's less than a second to go. That looks like 0 0.24 seconds or it could be 2.4 seconds. Score is still tied at 3-3. One last shot and it's collected by Muller and that's half time. Half time in this gold medal match, this do or die game between New South Wales and Queensland. And we are locked in a dead heat. The score was 1-1, then it was 2-2 and now at half time, it's 3-3. Three. We have a three minute half time break. That's not a lot of time when you consider how hard these athletes have been working. Both these sides contain two Australian men's players. New South Wales, the two wingers, Robbie Dunya and Matt Barry, both went to the Ipsa Games earlier this year competing for Australia. And likewise in Queensland, the centre, Sydney Quip, and the left winger, Isaiah Muller, were also there in that tournament. These two teams have got plenty of Aussie representation under the belt. New South Wales have the experience though. Both Dunya and Bowery have been playing for a number of years more than the Queenslanders. They also have, of course, the John Farnham of goalball. He comes in and out of retirement just because he feels like it. And he also has one of the best spin balls ever. It's, if you, it's, it's as if you combine John Farnham with Shane Warne, and that's Troy King. We haven't seen him come out and spin the ball around corners yet, and that can do damage to teams that aren't prepared for it. Queensland have their sub as well, Mikhail Offman. Now, normally in most games that I've seen Queensland play, Kendrick will do the first half and come off, and then Offman will come on and do the second half. Kendrick... What a resolve this young man has. He got a thundering, he got everything sent at him, including the kitchen sink. And I tell you what, he did incredibly well to keep an overwhelming majority of that barrage out of the back of the net. The 90 second call has been done. Having a look at the lineup, the referee is checking the patches of, it looks like the same three players for New South Wales in Bowery, Junior and Nero. As we look down at the Queensland end of the court, we see that Isaiah Muller is still there. We see that Sydney Quip is still there. But as I predicted, Sean Kendrick, who did so well blocking his post up in the first half, has been subbed off. And in his place comes Mikhail Offman. Clock ticks down. We have 36 seconds to go before the second half begins. Reminder, it is a tie. It is a dead tie. Three goals to three goals. There is nothing between these two teams. This will be the deciding half. 
this will decide who is the winner of the 2023 Australian Goalball Championships Men's Division. New South Wales have gone through this entire competition undefeated. They have not lost a single game. Could this be where they fall over? Can the underdogs of Queensland pip them at the post? The next 12 minutes will tell all. Referee just announcing the substitutes for Queensland. Kendrick coming out and Offman coming on. So Offman is taking the. It's just a straight swap from Kendrick's right wing to it's now Offman's right wing. Ball's been dropped into Queensland to start this second half. And it started with Whip. Whip into Nero, fracturing it wide. Blocked out. It's dropped in with Dunya. Dunya from the right post a metre in. Pops it into Whip who fractures it forward, collects his own block and passes it calmly to Muller. The half started coming. Muller, cross court ball, fractured off the feet of Nero. Again, Nero with the fracture, passes back to Bowery on the left wing. Bowery up the line, testing out Offman straight away and Offman's equal to it. Welcome to the game, Mikhail. Ball dropped in with Offman. He lines up. About a metre in, two metres in from his post. Goes for a line ball but sends it about two, three metres wide. Both New South Wales wingers are on the left wing, it's Junior with the ball. Fires it down the line. Comes in a little bit, fractured forward by Offman. Whip does the chasing and Whip will do the throwing. He takes the ball to the middle of the court. Bounces it back into Bowery. Bowery, quick reply. He's up, it's high! It's a high ball and it would have scored two! It would have scored if it was legal. This is a huge moment in the game. Five, please. 11 minutes to go. Barry defends that entire goal by himself. Nine metres of court to defend. It's whip. Discus, it's out. It's out at halfway. It's big out. Probably closer to long ball line than, half, than halfway. But it's still, that is a costly miss for Queensland. For those of you new to goal ball, there is a six metre line the ball has to land before it will be a legal throw. If it doesn't land before that line, it is a penalty. And the situation we saw just happens. Muller into the guts of Nero. Nero, discus reply into the feet of Whip. Whip back to Offman. 10 second shot clock's ticking away. Offman gets it away, okay. Offman. Oh, sorry, Nero passes to his left. Barry up the line, fractured and wide. It's blocked out. 10.31 remaining. Offman up the line. It's a good line ball onto Bowery. But he's equal to it. Bowery passes to Dooney, who joins him on that left side. Dooney's going to go after Hoffman as well. It's a flat ball again blocked out. The slant on the court has moved to the opposite side now. Muller with the ball. Runs it all the way back to his left post. Bouncing cross into Nero. Trapped pass to Dooney. Dooney from the uh, three metres off his crossbar. Even more than middle of the court. Off the feet of Whip into Offman. Offman with the bounce into Nero. Nero thinks about the quick return, decides against it. With Nero, front on throw. Off Whip's hands. Whip's hands diving to his left. And Muller had run away from his post. He was going to back up Offman. From the post. Bouncing ball towards Dunia's legs. He boots it forward. He does the chase and collects. Dunia with the ball from three metres in. Flat ball, hard fast. It's through Whip's hands, but Moll is there with his feet. On that left side. As I, Moller, cross court ball. Really stretching Nero. 
Fractured forward pass from Nero back to Bowery. Bowery up the line. And it's blocked out by Hoffman. Bouncing ball from Hoffman into Bowery, collected on his line. Dunya joins Bowery on the left wing. Dunya angling in, but there's so much of Sydney Whip covering that gap between him and Hoffman. It's not a gap, it's just body. Whip, reply bouncer, fractured between the feet of Nero and Bowery, but Bowery gains control. Again, takes it to his left post. Thunders it up the line into the body of Hoffman. Muller was there to back it up, but Hoffman's got it. Hoffman's solid. Hoffman throws. Bouncing ball. Doesn't quite have the carry needed. Nero with a quick reply back at Hoffman. Hoffman's equal to it. Very to Muller. Muller front on throw at Dunia on the chest. Hit Dunia about maybe a metre and off his post. Dunia dives hands to his right, feet to his left. Dunia and Barry working together. Dunia with the ball. Moves across to the left side. Might have been a Bowery throw. But either way, it hits Whip in the centre. Who collects his own ball, spins and throws towards Bowery and under the hands and blocked out. Six minutes to go. This half is flown by. Still the scores are tied. That ball from Bowery hitting Sid on the feet and he boots it back across the court. Six minutes and two seconds to go. The scores are tied at 3-3. Bouncing ball. And it's through and in! That ball from Dunia. Starting off wide on the left post, Barry's post, and split the gap between Whip and Hoffman. It was a great angle ball into the gap, and New South Wales once again regained the lead in this crocodile wrestle. Four goals, New South Wales. Three goals, Queensland. 7.56 on the clock. Queensland look like they need a timeout. This is Queensland's second timeout. They've still got two more in the bank after this. How will they get this goal back? Ah. Every previous instance when New South Wales have gone up by one, Muller has pulled an amazing bounce ball out of the hat and got it straight back in the back of the net between Junior and Nero through Nero's hands. Can he do that again? Ah. Hush of the crowd. We're back underway. There's the bounce, but it's wide of Nero. It goes the other side to Bowery. Sorry, Nero collects it. Now it's with Bowery. Bowery on that left side. Line ball. Again, going after Offman. One goal up. It's not enough for New South Wales. They want to increase that to two. 7.43 left on the clock. Offman. South Wales. Dunya, three metres off the left post, sends it into the body of Whip. He was aiming for that gap between Whip and Hoffman, but Whip is so tall there's no gap. Whip sends it back towards Bowery's post, but it's wide of the post. Bowery and Dunya converge together. Dunya with the ball. Bouncing back at Whip. Whip just had to sit there and wait for it to hit him. He didn't even have to move. Pass it to Moore. Moore, three moves off the left post. Fraction over Nero and in! It's in! The scores are tied again! It's four goals apiece! Seven minutes and eight seconds to go. Reply from Bowery straight into the body of Whip. Muller going for the hands of Nero again. But his hands clamp down on it and pass it to Dunya, who sneaks behind Nero, moves to the left side. Goes for Hoffman, fractured up and over. There's a scramble on the goal line. And then they somehow keep it. Oh! Heartbreak for Queensland. What a valiant effort, what a valiant scramble. Well, they're going to have a chat about it. This goal means everything. Did the whole of the ball cross the whole of the goal line? 
or did some of it stay on this side of the goal line? Is the ball out or is it a goal? Everyone sits on the edge of their seats. Six. I think the goal stands. Either way, ball's now back with New South Wales. Bouncing ball from here. Offman bouncing the ball down and dies near into Bowery. Bowery cross into the fraction, it's loose. Whip gets enough on it to send it laterally. Muller on left wing. Flat ball hits the defeat of Bowery. Bowery and Junior have swapped on New South Wales. Bowery on the right wing, bounces the ball across Whip. Whip does the chasing, passes back to Mikhail. Offman. Offman just turfs it off the side. And it's called out, but the ref had to think about that. You've got to be careful, you can't just lob the ball off the side of the court anymore. If you lob it too much or too hard, it can be considered unsporting conduct, which would result in another penalty. 5.53 to go. Dunya! Dunya! Dunya slots it straight through. It doesn't touch the sides. So he gets it straight between Whip and Offman. New South Wales go up six goals to four. This is the biggest lead in the game. That is how close this game has been. Five minutes, 50 to go. Queensland use their third timeout. They've still got one left in the bank after this. New South Wales will have three of their own timeouts to go. Can Queensland come back? So New South Wales swapped wings. Dunya went to left and Barry went to right. This would help block up that gap between Nero's hands and that right side of court. Barry has a bit more height than Dunya. He'll be able to get his feet in the way. They're setting up the same way. Barry staying on right, Dunya staying on left. And Queensland have now done their own switch. Willow is on the right wing, thundering into Dunya, fractured forward. All three New South Wales converge to help out. Dunya bouncing ball into the gap, but has solid body off whip. But he fractures a bit too much forward and his ball over. It goes over the high ball line in front of the sideline. Ball dropped back with New South Wales. It's Dunya, tries to go up the right hand sideline. New South Wales wingers have swapped back again. And Queensland call a substitution. And coming off the court is Mikhail Offman, number three. And coming back on is Sean Kendrick, number two. Sean's had a bit of a rest. He's now got five minutes and 30 seconds to go to help his team claw back two goals and then potentially get an extra one on the board. Score is still six to New South Wales, four to Queensland. Plenty of support in the venue for the Queensland team. The young boys, the underdogs. Oh, back on the left wing. Bouncing ball into the body of Dunya. Dunya on the right wing for New South Wales. Both teams have been playing better swapsies. But Dunya on the right, he tries to angle it between Whip and Muller. And it goes across the court. And it goes controlled and thrown out on that right side of Queen's Angles after hitting Muller on the left. That is the power of the throws at this men's tournament. Ball in the hands of Bowery on left wing. Bowery, bouncing, finds Whip. Nothing but the body of Whip, who chases it. Bounce past it all the way back to Muller. Muller from the back line. He's got to go quick to watch that shot clock. And he does, he hits the chest of Bowery. Oh, not Bowery, sorry, Dunya. Dunya on the right wing. Flat ball. N2, whip, whip, solid and strong as ever on his hands. He's going to his left, bouncing ball into the body of Nero. Nero, with a trap, takes it back, winds him up, bouncing ball. He goes to try and send it at Kendrick, but gets it wide of the post. Four minutes, 37 to go. 
Kendrick sends it into Bowie. Flat ball. Kendrick's got to keep it low. Bowie. Barry comes in. About three metres off his left post. Goes across the centre, but not across enough. Whip gets hands on it and sends it lateral across the sideline. Blocked down. Top back in with Muller on the left post. Turns and spins. And he goes straight at Nero. Nero thinks about a quick return, but decides against it. Passes it back to Dunya on the right. Dunya from his post. Angles in, but not in enough. And it's a quick reply from Muller back at the spot between Dunya and Nero. But Nero gets his chest in the way. Nero shifts over a long way. Nero back into Whip. It's centre on centre action, but it was straight into Whip, straight over the centre tee. Whip, bouncing ball again, centre on centre action. Fractured forward by Nero. And New South Wales call their second time out of the game. Three minutes and 49 seconds to go in this final half of goal ball. New South Wales lead six goals to four. This is going into the dying minutes of the game. This is where every block and every throw counts. Queensland just need one goal to get them back in the game and get them the momentum they need to come back and tie the scores up. New South Wales are in the box seat. They've got one hand on the gold medal. They'll have it tightly gripped around that one hand. They won't want to let go. Junior. Up the line. Into Kendrick, fractured up, and it's blocked out. Oh, oh, from left, spins, goes into Bowery's long cross, post to post. Bowery gets his hands in the way. Bowery from his post. Again, bouncing ball and through! It gets past the very tall Sydney whip. Kendrick isn't there. Muller rushes in from across the side. He does his best. He says, well, let's go up by three goals. Seven to four. Three twenty-four. Bouncing ball back from Muller in the hands of Nero in centre. Nero, steep bouncing ball wide. You have to say at this point in the game. New South Wales now have two hands on that gold medal, but it's not round their necks yet. Whip, bouncing ball down to Bowery, gets it late on the hands. Dunya with the reply. Fractured out by Kendrick. Queensland call, another timeout. With two minutes and 59 seconds to go, Queensland have a very tall mountain to climb if they want to get this gold medal going back to their home state. It's a tall order for the very young boys of Queensland. What can they find? They're no longer running on fuel. They're no longer running on fumes. What is left in their tanks? the court. Just gets Nero on the leg. He's able to kick it up and wide. But dropped in with Barry on that left wing for New South Wales. Barry bounces back towards Whip. Between Whip and Kendrick. Whip flicks it forward with his feet. Pass it to Muller. Muller from the left corner. Bar, three metres in. Bounce, bounce again. Into Nero once more. Into his feet. Rolls it back to Barry. Barry, straight up in the gap between Whip and Kendrick, but Kendrick is there. Whip, Whip with the ball. Again, going after that spot between Nero and Bowery. Bowery, with the ball once more. Goes the other side, but finds Whip's chest. Pass it backwards to Muller. Muller with that ball. 
turn these off the crossbar. He goes for the post of Dunya, but Dunya's fine. He clamps down on it. He takes it back to his post. In fact, he takes it all the way around to the left side. He goes for the gap between Kendrick and Whip again. And it's blocked wide again. A minute 59 to go, less than two minutes, less than 120 seconds to go for New South Wales to maintain their lead. Queensland need to find three goals in 119 seconds. That's not a lot of time. Queensland call a substitute and the very strong Sean Kendrick who's just received ball after ball after ball at his face, at his body, at his chest and at his post. He's being subbed off after doing a valiant job and into the court once again for the second time. This half comes Mikhail Offman. Moore with the return throw after the stoppage, and it's nearly through the legs of Dunya on that right side of New South Wales goals. Dunya's feet go to the middle, flat ball into the body of Moore. Moore's all over it. There's no issues. There. Three metres in, he comes, bouncing the ball back at Nero. Nero's chest, no problem. From the back team, Nero sends his ball towards Offman, and it's in, it's in. It's flight of whip, and just Offman didn't get down in time. Eight goals to four. Whip, back at Nero. Passes across to Dunia from three metres in. Dunia straight into the tee of Whip. And he's getting up, but he's getting up slower. Only got one minute, 19 seconds to go. Bowery, back in that gap, back in that dangerous gap, but Offman is there. Offman, bouncing ball. It dies at the end though, collected by Bowery. Bowery from his post. Bowery finds the gap. It's fractured in. Oh. New South Wales are just pulling away now. They're scoring goals for fun. Nine, four, five goals up. Less than a minute to go. 57 seconds. Big bouncing ball. And one gets back. They get one back. Amazing bouncing ball from Muller, who's now on the right wing for Queensland. It comes out of nowhere. And New South Wales call a timeout with only 52 seconds left on the game clock. We've got to wait 45 seconds for New South Wales. They're four goals up. What would this timeout be to do? Four throws left in the game. Two of them will be New South Wales, two of them will be Queensland. The smart money says that Queensland won't be able to catch up. We are now counting down the throws till we crown the gold medal champions of the men's division of the 2023 Australian Goalball Championships. This will be the first throw from Dunya. Posting in. Right up the sideline, straight past Offman and in. Sorry. Ball is now with Muller. Bouncing ball. He tries to do the same ball he did before that scored. It's fractured forward off Bowery. Bowery collects, takes it back to his post. Bowery goes cross court. Often blocked out. Substitution for Queensland. Offman's coming off and Kendrick's coming back on. Offman not particularly happy about being subbed off. It's plenty of hard in this Queensland youth team. Boys team, men's team. They fought so hard and strong. But most of this game, flat ball, fast ball from Muller, fractured off Bowery. They're not giving up. 
Nero from the back. From the middle. Large bouncing ball wide. 21.3 seconds. Two to three throws to go. More on that right wing. Bouncing it down, Bowery and gets it in! Down the line and under Bowery and in! Queenslander, not done yet! Six goals to ten. Bowery bouncing up the line, back at Muller. And it's blocked out. So it's Kendrick on that right wing. Muller and Kendrick are playing swapsies. 8.3 seconds. Queensland are four goals down. Nearly three goals down. This will be the game. Congratulations to New South Wales, the 2023 Australian Goalball Championships men's division gold medalists, beating Queensland uh, in, a, in a game in, that doesn't reflect, the scoreboard does not reflect the game at all, 10-6. But after the scores were tied at 3-3 and well into this second half, the scores were stuck at 4-4, the 10-6 scoreboard does not reflect how hard fought this game was and how well this game was fought. Teams are both in huddles. New South Wales, congratulations. Queensland, commiserations. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. The medal comes to the stadium here at 11.45. So you've got about 30 minutes to have uh, showers, stretches, tanks, things like this. Uh, after the medal presentations, then there'll be lunch and we'll give you further after that. So. Metal presentations, it's currently 11.19, metal presentations, 11.45. Thank you. So congratulations to all the teams participating <laughs> in this year's Australian Gold Ball Championships. That concludes all the games. Who's all now? that's left to do in proceedings is just hand out nah, the medals well, to the teams. In the men's division, first place New South Wales, place. second place Queensland, third place Victoria. In the women's division, first place New South Wales, second place the pool team consisting of athletes from Queensland, Victoria and South Australia. And third place Western Australia with the bronze there. And then in the youth division, New South Wales taking out the gold with Western Australia taking out the silver.
Please gather in. We're about to start our medal presentations. Please come and sit on the floor in front of the table here, in front of the referee's table. Thank you. Do we need that table there? Or
everyone. Welcome to the closing ceremony of the 2023 AGCs in Perth, Western Australia. Congratulations to all the players, coaches and team staff on your performances during the tournament. Big round of applause. Of Troy. So thank you, Troy. Where are you, Troy? Where is he? Tidy. Sweet for some fresh air. Tidy. But anyway, these are uh, historical facts from Troy. So in 1982, WA hosted our first AGCs in Fremantle at the Navy base. And this competition was a selection for the very first goalball Australian team that competed in New York in 1984. So there you go. So we'll move on to our award ceremony now. So it's my great privilege to award the following medals to the highest ranking states in each division. So when we call you, when you call, we call you, we will call you forward as a team. Please come to the front and will present your medals. Please stand here to my left, to your right, for a photo. So for our youth division, our silver medal this year for the 2023 AGCs goes to Western Australia. <laughs> your team. And our gold medal winners for the 2023 AGCs is New South Wales. of all teams competing in that division. The most valuable player is the player who's received the most votes in the voting process, whether they are vision impaired or not. The coaches will award six votes to the most valuable player, five to the second, four to the third, and so on. So the most valuable player in our youth division the 2023 AGCs is Savannah Zaknik.
for the youth division this year is Ariane. Just before we give these guys a round of applause, a fun fact for everyone. So Savannah played across two divisions during the championship, and we told it up that she played 13 games during the tournament. Let's give her a round of applause. Before you go too far, Brody. Yep. <laughs> Brody, 
Freddie was also our highest goal scorer. <laughs> And Troy King. And Amy, and Amy Ridley. And Amy Ridley. It's all about family. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I don't have to. I don't have to. Thank you. I do. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Championship Perpetual Trophy, gladly held by, held by Suzanne. <laughs> this award goes to the state who finished the tournament with the highest ranking across all divisions. Congratulations, New South Wales. tournament. Thank you. A huge thank you to our volunteers, especially the girls from St Mary's who graciously gave up their time during the school holidays to experience goalball and learn about the premier sport for vision impaired people. to 
watch their athletes play. I now have a special message from Pam and Sam and Lucky. To our Goldball family, Sam, Lucky and I wish to sincerely thank everyone for their support over the past few days. From many communication messages to doing my ref and coaching duties, we have greatly appreciated your thoughts and kindness. Sam had his surgery this morning and is in good spirits, minimum pain and counting the minutes to when he can walk out. Everything is in place for a smooth recovery. Our Vic men's team took on the challenge of no Sam, no sub and a different coach and they rose to provide a high level of game intensity in Sam's absence to all other teams. We're very proud of you guys. Well done. Once again, a sincere thank you to everyone and your support. Sam, Pam and Lucky. We hope everyone has had a great tournament. There were many fantastic close games. Thank you all so much for joining us in WA. incredibly grateful um, yeah um, we very much look forward to welcoming this amazing goalball community to Adelaide from the 3rd to the 6th of October in 2024 Woo! thanks guys so I'd now like to in invite all of you to join us for lunch we have an amazing barbecue Thank you so much to our referees who worked very hard over the course of the tournament. Where are you guys? Come up the front. Thank you. 